Here with the gang at Comic Con from Rain. You guys are heading into season two of the show, yes. starting in October on the CW. Uh, uh, Mary Queen of Scots. Where do we yes. find her in history at the start of season two? Uh, well, I don't know about in history, but in script. But, in, <laughs> but you know, you're following loosely the. Um, yeah, we ended season one with a, a resurgence of the Black Plague, mm -hmm. which is you know equal parts terrifying and disgusting. So we come into uh, season two with Francis having just left. Impulsively. Impulsively. Uh, to, <laughs> to be with Lola, who is burying his bastard child after a night of passion in season mm. one. So he's going off to, to make sure the baby doesn't you know, die. And uh, I'm left in the castle with Queen Catherine to sort of deal with this outbreak of plague. And um, she is not your friend. She is not. We have a very tumultuous relationship. Yeah. Sometimes I'm her friend. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Ally. I wouldn't say we've ever yeah, been no, friends. Because <laughs> sometimes you know, she's not trying to kill historically me. Historically, they were not friends. They were. Um, well, pretty, actually, pretty except, for, for, no, other, except right? for she, when she was little, she had raised her for a time. Mm -hmm. So actually, she did have conflicting feelings because she did but once care she for her. But I care for him more. Yes, oh, of course. Well, he's mm -hmm. the Dauphin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, he's my boy. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Not, not anymore. Now he's the king. Now he's the king. So. um what, what, what can we expect out of season two? Give us a give us like a little tease. So Ooh. the Black Plague is, is... What can I tell you without giving too much away? Lots of death. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of death. Yeah. Um, we have uh, a we, new villain coming in. I was going to say, we have a yeah. couple interesting... A couple uh, interesting new uh, gentlemen joining mm. our company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New men. Very handsome, talented men to kind of even out our male to female ratio. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing but women on our show. Um, we deal with the plague, uh, of course, Lola and the baby reappear, mm -hmm. so there's there's that. And we'll start to deal a little bit with the conflicting religious mm -hmm. factions of the Catholics and Protestant the Protestants, Protestants. Or who we call the that Huguenots should be solved there. fairly quickly and easily. Yeah, that's just right? a, was just a minor. I think they sorted yeah. it out. They yeah. sorted it all yeah. out really quickly. It was just a, a minor, little blip minor in the radar. Right. So Adelaide, you, you said you, we were talking right before we started rolling the camera that you are a you would would you describe yourself as a geek as a Comic Con absolutely geek yeah. S? yeah definitely you're a video gamer stealth nerd stealth nerd <laughs> not an open nerd uh, I don't I mean yeah I don't really talk <laughs> about it. I don't really Come talk about now. it much unless I'm like amongst my own people because so get here you're part it. of the tribe though yeah so. I'm more comics than gaming. I mm -hmm. mean, I have my Game Boy that I take around with me wherever I go with, you know, like Pokemon and, and Mario and Smash Brothers and Zelda and, you know, the whole thing and Tomodachi Life, which is like the, the oddest, like, is next gen RPG with, game. Is it's that the so one weird. with the fishing? What's that game? No, nope. no, that's Harvest Moon. I, I dig okay, Harvest man. Moon. That's <laughs> watching uh, you play that, you're like, that. Oh, I've got to get my fishing rod and I've got to fish. I can't fish and it's so like, not such a stealth nerd, like, is she? That sounds boring. No, I'm sad. They're like, not no. very stealth. Not very stealth. But, All right. um, but so, I play Xbox too, but it's mostly comics. Like, I love anything like Vertigo or Image Comics. So, you know, Comic-Con is a place for superheroes, and I'm sure you've been asked uh, what your superpower would be. But I'm kind of curious what your villain would be, because heroes are often defined by the people who oppose them. You mean, if we had a villain, who would they be? Yeah, exactly. That's a really... Uh, <laughs> that's actually that's a really interesting question. question. Yeah. Um, like I don't know who would <laughs> who would be my arch nemesis. Is it? Oh. Don't they have to? What's the rule of villains? Though they have to be the quality that you. They have to be fear, the opposite. You, yeah. You, you, that you fear oh. most in yourself or something. Mm -hmm. Personally, or are we talking about our character? Personally. Where are you going oh god. This? Personally, we're going personal. Personally, that which I fear most in myself. <laughs> Into the heart of darkness. Um, I'm gonna let them answer. I would say like a villain who's just purely composed of like impulsive chaotic destruction because. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can be really impulsive and mm -hmm. I just always do stupid things like I'll end up on a roof being like, what's up? Wow. When I'm really, really hyperactive or I've had a couple of drinks, I climb things. Um, Mine would be someone who just killed humor. Someone who was really dumb. Yeah. Really, someone Come in and really go. Yeah. Just some, no humor. Someone whose evil <laughs> power is sucking the life out of a room. Yeah. yeah. I got an idea of like, a, of like a super villain that just like really, really pisses you off and just like messes with you. And, but but a little, a little the bit. Like the it's irritator. Not like, it's not like on a grand scale. It's like <laughs> he'll come home and... Uh, and he'll like have unplugged your fridge and all your food will be off and he'll go, oh, damn it. Oh, the you irk got me. You don't really know who he <laughs> I've is. I've been or, irked. Yeah, or like uh, you come home and he'll have to, like Unending taken irritation. the doors off the hinges and yeah. like, just removed all the doors in the house. You'll be like, shit, that's really annoying. But it's yeah. not terrible. It's not like the worst, but it's just 
there all the time. Wow. Persistent annoyance. I think, easily, that would, I think that would slowly drive you mad. Easily though. thrown off your game, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, constantly <laughs> ordering pizzas to your house, and you're like, I didn't order this. It's the villain that follows me around. I don't know who he is. Well, I hope your Comic Con is clear of those villains. Thanks yeah. for joining us. <laughs> Thank you so much.